Hello guys, welcome to another video of Additional Mathematics. In these video sets, we are going to solve questions from your textbook one by one. If you do not want to miss our videos, please do subscribe to our channel right now. Let's start today's question. Okay, what is given in the question? It is given, we have to find the modulus and amplitude for a given question. What is the question? 1 by 1 minus cos alpha, that is the real part, plus i into sin alpha, this is given. See, whenever the question is given, we have to always have to get in the standard form, that is x plus i y. We have to always in the form of x plus i y. So, let's consider this into, convert into x plus i y. How do I get 1 minus cos alpha? plus i sin alpha, this is given in the question, I will just multiply this with 1 minus cos alpha, that is the real part, there is a plus, I will take negative i sin alpha, that is the imaginary part. In the numerator out the taken, in the denominator also, I will take the same thing, 1 minus cos alpha minus i sin alpha. In the denominator, if I consider this as a, this as b, it is in the form of a plus ib into a minus ib. This is nothing but a square plus b square. So, this is a, this is b, a plus ib into a minus ib. So, this can be denominator, can be written as what? a square minus b square, that is 1 minus cos alpha whole square plus b square is what? Sin square alpha. 1 into anything is remain same. So, 1 minus cos alpha, array, this into 1 a into 1 is a, so this number into 1 is this number only. So, 1 minus cos alpha, there is a minus here, i sin alpha. Okay, what is the, there in the numerator? 1 minus cos alpha, there is a minus, so minus i sin alpha. In the denominator, what I have? a minus b whole square, this is a square plus b square minus 2ab. a square means 1 square minus 2 into cos alpha. And cos alpha whole square is cos square alpha. Is that okay? Plus sin square alpha. So, if I solve this, I will get 1 minus cos alpha minus i sin alpha divided by, see here, 1 cos square theta plus sin square theta is again 1 minus 2 cos alpha. So, that is nothing but 1 minus cos alpha, I will take a bracket, minus i sin alpha divided by 1 plus 1 is 2. So, if I take 2 common, 2 outside, 1 minus cos alpha. There is a formula that you have to remember, 1 minus cos alpha is nothing but 2 sin square alpha by 2. Or also there is formula called sin alpha is equal to 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2. This is a formula. So, I will split this denominator into two parts. How do I do that? 1 minus cos alpha divided by 1 minus cos alpha and minus i sin alpha divided by 1 minus, sorry, 2 into, 2 into again, there is a 2 here, na? 2 into, 2 into 1 minus cos alpha. And there is a denom one denominator for both of this. So, I can take this denominator and also take this denominator. So, this denominator is this, for this denominator is this. So, this and this get cancelled. So, I will half minus half times i sin alpha can be written as what 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 are sin alpha is 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 2 alpha by 2 alpha by 2 and 1 minus cos alpha 1 minus cos alpha is what 2 sin square 2 sin square alpha by 2 so this sin alpha this sin alpha get cancelled and this 2 and this 2 get cancelled so if i take half common i'll get 1 minus cos by sin cos by sin is what cot alpha by 2 i there is an i i this is what this is the value of z for this i have to find the modulus that is mod z is equal to root of this whole square that is the x square plus y square so i can write 1 by 2 whole square times 1 square minus 1 square or plus minus and minus is uh, if you take uh, what you call uh, minus square it will become positive or you can say this is the value of magnitude. So, cot square alpha by 2. I can take 1 by 2 whole square outside. So, 1 by 2 will be 1 by 2. So, root of 1 square is 1 plus cot square alpha by 2. 1 plus cot square theta is what? 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant. 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta by 2. So, there is under root. 
so this square and this square get cancelled so half times cosecant alpha by 2 this is mod of alpha to find amp to find amp what is amp amp if you see here i can see x as a 1 by 2 y as what minus 1 by 2 if i just plus multiply it is x into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 this into this number is cot alpha by x is a positive y is a negative this is in fourth quadrant so if this is a theta so theta is what nothing but 2 pi minus alpha in fourth quadrant theta is what 2 pi minus alpha so how to find an alpha alpha is tan inverse of y upon x so tan inverse of what is given by half times cot alpha by 2 divided by x is what 1 by 2 so this one by 2 this one by 2 get cancelled So tan inverse of cot alpha by two can be written as what? Tan pi by two minus alpha by two. So this tan this tan get cancelled. So we can write alpha is equal to pi by two minus alpha uh, alpha by two. Right? Theta is what? Theta is two pi minus alpha. That is nothing but two pi minus this number pi by two. Minus into plus is plus alpha by two. If you put this two pi minus pi by two is what? Three pi by two plus alpha by two. This is the final answer. What's the final answer? Three pi by two plus alpha by two. This is the amp of z. That is nothing but theta value. This is theta value. This is z value. Is that okay? It doesn't look very big. Actually, you have to know these two formulas to solve this question. Okay. Watch our entire additional mathematics video course, which includes all the prerequisites, all the basics that is enough for your exams, and also will take you from the scratch to advanced level, and also will clear all your doubts with the live interactive one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can see all this and the sample of our video course in the description. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching all the best